Good morning and welcome to Tuesday's Free Racing Tips video. Hope you're all doing well this morning and looking forward to what is a, a decent day of action, nothing more than that. It's kind of uh, what you expect on a Tuesday afternoon and evening, to be honest. We race from Hamilton, Brighton, Chepstow, Stratford and over at Goron Park over in Ireland as well. So five meetings, but actually not too much in the way of... Um, Bets, I don't think, today. There's not too many horses that I was all that keen on. We've actually decided to go with just a premium tip for this uh, for today's action. I don't want to tip just for the sake of it, and as I said, it's, it's pretty run-of-the-mill stuff, and I can't um, suddenly fancy horses that uh, just for the sake of it. So we're going to go with just a premium tip and hopefully end what's been a really good June on a high. It's um, been a little bit frustrating the last couple of days, but I'm sure we can end it on a high today and hopefully get that premium tip win. So that's all we're going with today and uh, we may as well get straight to it. So today's premium tip goes in the four o'clock at Brighton and our tip here is Duke Street, currently around the 11 to 4 mark. Um, this horse comes from the Bang and Four mark, Johnson Yard, and won at Wolverhampton on the Oweber last time out. Comes into this one off a low weight and is still pretty unexposed to be honest on the turf. It's not the strongest of races and I think a mark of 57 might not be enough to stop the horse going in. Again, it's pretty basement stuff but this horse is clearly in good form. As is offshore but I do just fancy uh, Duke Street to get the better of this horse carrying nearly a stone less in terms of weight. Um, Andrew Mullen I think is quite a positive jockey booking as I said Mark Johnson in flying form at the moment this horse should enjoy conditions the trip this ground and the Brighton course as well so I think that Duke Street looks to be the best bet of the day by some way and uh, hopefully should go close for us and, and give us that um, one winner from one selection but yeah it wasn't too much else I was all that keen on so we are just going with the premium tip today do let me know if you have any fancies for the day's action as well that always um Always interested to see that. Um, in terms of what's coming up throughout the weekend, it's of course the Coral Eclipse taking place on Saturday, where it looks as though it's probably just going to be a procession for Golden Horn. Looked like this race was going to be an absolute belter at one point, but uh, the field has uh, has kind of not really lived up to expectation. You've got the Grey Gatsby in there as seven to two, Golden Horns a two to five shot, Cougar Mountain and Western him twelves, and Tullius out at about sixty six to one. So. I think it is just going to be a procession for Golden Horn with the Grey Gatsby probably following them home. It's not really um, the sort of race you wanted to see. It's a little bit frustrating, but still should be a, should be a good watch with Golden Horn, and hopefully he can do something special to to make up for it being such a small field. Um, well, hopefully anyway. So that's the big race taking place on Saturday. Um, but yeah, for today's video, that's just about it. So thank you for watching. We'll speak to you all a little bit later on. Let's hope for a winner today. Thanks and bye-bye.